everyone, Reese here with Cranberry Alarm RI 3D. Today we're going to be going over our shooter prototype. We're going to be talking about our compressions, our feeds, our speeds that we've got going on. We're going to talk about how we're powering our shooter prototype, how we're getting consistent values, how far we can shoot from the goal, um, and everything that we found that worked out really well for us. Coming up now on Fun Robotics Network. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. AndyMark provides superior service and reliability that teams expect at AndyMark.com. From the Robots Launcher Expansion Kit to the SDS MK4 and 5 Swerve modules, your team can be ready for rebuild. Don't forget to stock up on game-specific elements, bumper kits, and new for 2026 products at AndyMark.com. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Go ahead and start with what everyone kind of cares the most about, which is our compression. Um, it's the one thing we get the most questions about through year to year always. Uh, and so something to note is that this shooter prototype isn't perfect. We are currently using the um, AnyMark launcher in a box. Um, thank you to them for sponsoring us and being able to provide this for us. This was a huge help in us being able to prototype fast. This is the one thing about this prototype that was done really well. Um, the rest of it, maybe not so much. Um, but we were able to get consistent results out of it to help us understand how these game pieces interact. Um, so we originally started uh, back here in this position here, which was about um, a quarter inch uh, or about point 0.15 inches of compression. Um, and we found we were getting some good speed and consistency through it. But then we bumped it up to this third slot right here, which resulted in about 0.65 inches of compression. Um, and that was just derived because the ball is a bit of a weird diameter. Um, ultimately, somewhere in the 0.75 to 0.65 range, that worked out really, really well for us. Um, and we ultimately just ran against the polycarb right here, and that worked really well. We also ran some foam backer, um, and that worked really well to give a consistent backer. I think with these game pieces being so um, stiff and rigid, um, they don't really compress a whole lot. This is some of the kind of the weather stripping that we use. It's really compressible, um, and it's adhesive backed. Uh, so this is some really good stuff that we found that worked well. Ultimately, we didn't think that we needed it a whole bunch to kind of get the consistency that we wanted. Um, for our wheel, we're using AndyMark's 4-inch 45A orange stealth wheels with the integrated flywheel. Um, and we're also powering off of two Neos. And the way we're driving these Neos to help us get consistent testing data is off of the Nova controllers here, uh, powered by the uh, manual controllers here. These are really, really important for us to be able to control the speed um, reliably. Um, and so this has been really good for us to test out different speeds, and you can just set it to where you need to be, and it holds that, and allows us to whole, um, feed the balls in very smoothly. We're feeding the balls via a uh, flat urethane belt system, um, and this is basically just being powered off of drills on the two sides. So it's important to note that these, uh, the feeder wheels here with the flat urethane belts, they will add to the speed and consistency. If the feeding is consistent, the shooting will be consistent. Um, so that was one thing that was really important. We just need to make sure those were going as fast as possible, get as much inertia into the ball before it gets to the shooter, and that'll really help with kind of generating consistent speeds. Ultimately, we were raining about a one inch compression here, which ended up, we kind of decided was maybe a little bit too high. We got really good grab on the ball from the conveyor system, but um, especially with the belts here, the one inch compression is good. But at the point of the pulley, we kind of found it was maybe a little bit too high for our liking, something a little bit less. The 0.765 that we found here with the shooter, we kind of found was like a really nice bread and butter spot um, to get consistent results that uh, enabled really good torque transfer to the ball, um, but also resulted in um, not too much loss in energy. So we'll go ahead and now and take a look at some of our shooter uh, testing that we did. We did this example, we were about 12 feet away from the goal. We measured from the center of the axle. We did another test where we were about 54 inches away from the goal. Um, and our current angle that we were operating for the 12 foot shot was at 62 degrees from horizontal. And our previous shot from the a close-up shot was 45 degrees from horizontal.
Thank you guys for checking out this video of our shooter prototype, and please be sure to check out more videos of Cranberry Alarm RSD on Fun Robotics Network. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Andymark provides superior service and reliability that teams expect at andymark.com. From the Robots Launcher Expansion Kit to the SDS MK4 and 5 Swerve Modules, your team can be ready for rebuild. Don't forget to stock up on game-specific elements, bumper kits, and new for 2026 products at Animark.com.